how did I end up meeting this English person? This Captain Murray? How did I end up meeting him and why I had to tell him the Saki of the Khalsa? हर गोबिंद सोब सोमात पर कासक सिरी हर राय नमो कर जोरी नमो कर जोरी श्री हर कृष्ण मनाए बहो गुरतेग बहादर परम कीर पाला जी परम कीर पाला श्री गुरु गोबिंद सिंह बेसाला तरो तरा पर पुन पुन सीसा जी पुन पुन सीसा बंदो बार बार जगरी सा जिसमें अमृत ज्ञान है माणक भगत बैराग श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब उदत बंदो कर अनुराग श्री गुरु शब्द कमाए जिन जीते पंच बेकार तिन संतन को बंदना सिर चरण पर तार कहा बुद्ध प्रभ तुच्छ हमारी बरन सक महमा जो तिहारी हम न सकत कर सिफत तुम्हारी आप ले हो तुम कथा सुधारी हम न सकत कर सिफत तुम्हारी आप ले हो तुम कथा सुधारी एक ओंकार सतगुरु प्रसाद श्री वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह है अथ दोहरा श्री गुरु नानक चरण बंद गुरु गोविंद सिंह ते आए लिखो उत्पत्ति खाल से मोह निज करो सहाय श्री गुरु नानक चरण बंद गुरु गोविंद सिंह ते आए गुरु प्यारी साथ संग जी आओ पहला गुरु दी दिखती हुई दाद गुरु दी फतेह दी सांझ पाइए गाज बाज के आखो वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह एस वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग द जन्म द बर्थ ऑफ धन धन माता साहिब देवा जी द मदर ऑफ खालसा पंथ विद माता जी कृपा विद गुरु गोविंद सिंह जी कृपा वी आर स्टार्टिंग दिस न्यू उपराला this new seva this new initiative to start a larivar english katha of sri guru pant prakash before we go into the katha it's important to understand the significance of this granth and i will be doing the english mainly in the katha mainly in english so that the youth who needs most of the inspiration they can connect to it there is already punjabi katha available of sri gurpant prakash on soundcloud on youtube 
you can also listen to that as well. Sri Gur Prachin Pant Prakash, the author of this Granth is Kavi Pai Ratan Singh Ji Pangu. They come from a family of Shaheed Singhs. In fact, Kavi Ratan Singh Ji Pangu themselves were Shaheed as well. This Granth was written and completed by the year 1841. It was only found by the Pant, by Pai Veer Singh Ji in 1900s, early 1900s, and they translated this grant and they got it published and that's how the whole Pantha got to know about this. All of us know the famous Sakya of Shaheed Pai Taru Singh Ji, Shaheed Pai Mani Singh Ji, Baba Banda Singh Ji Bahadur. But we have never asked the question, Ki Sakya on the Kithone? I myself, when I started to walk on this path of Sikhi, we know the itihas of Guru Sahib from Guru Nanak Dev Ji right up till Guru Gobind Singh Ji. But where does Baba Banda Singh Bahadur come in? Where does Pai Mani Singh Ji come in? Pai Taru Singh Ji? Are they in the same timeline? Are they one after another? Who gave Shahidi first? A Sanu Nipata. And to know the timeline of history, especially after Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is so important. Because the amount of blood that our Pantha gave during this 100 years period after Guru Gobind Singh Ji is immeasurable beyond any other Pantha that has given. So a bit of background of this Granth. Pant Prakash Granth covers the history after Guru Gobind Singh Ji, which means that in Malaysia, there are some Sansthava that does Katha of Sri Suraj Prakash Granth. Sri Nanak Prakash and Sri Suraj Prakash Granth are the Granth, the main Granth that consists of the history from Guru Nanak Dev Ji right up to Guru Gobind Singh Ji. After that comes Prachin Pant Prakash, which is written by Kavi Pai Ratan Singh Ji Pangu. Pai Ratan Singh Ji Pangu was not born a Likhari or a poet. They had to write this Granth. And it's very important for us to know why they had to write this Granth. And as a Sikh, Sada Sawal Banda, Sada Farz Bandya, we need to ask questions. How did this Granth come about? What is the authenticity of this Granth? Now, Sade Pantadevicha, you will find many different types of books. Many authors or writers come up with different variations of history. We don't even know who to believe, what to read. There are a few ways you can find the authenticity of a Granth. So first, let's look into Pai Ratan Singh Ji Pangu's life. Pai Ratan Singh Ji Pangu, they are the grandson of Shaheed Pai Mehtab Singh Ji. Now, you would know this itihas. Pai Mehtab Singh Ji is that Gursik who killed Masa Rangar. This same Masa Rangar who brought prostitutes, dancers, sharab, alcohol, whatever, gandh into such country Harmandir Sahib. Such country Harmandir Sahib te jinne hamle hoye ne. Up till now, that's why it's called Harmandir. No one can ever destroy Harmandir. Pai Sukha Singh Ji, Pai Mehtab Singh Ji goes into Harmandir Sahib. In the crowd of forge, all the army there still, they went in, they did ardas, they went in, they chopped Masarangar's head off, came back with Masarangar's head on the spike and brought it back to the Khalsa Pant. The grandson of that great Pai Mehtab Singh Ji was Pai Ratan Singh Ji Pangu. Then Pai Ratan Singh Ji's Pangu, father, Baba Rai Singh Ji, he was the commander-in-chief of the Khalsa army during the missile period. Pai Ratan Singh Ji's Pangu, maternal grandfather, Matilab Nanna Ji, Onaga Na, Baba Sham Singh Ji. Now this Baba Sham Singh Ji, he then goes to become the leader of the missile. This is the same Baba Sham Singh Ji who was a teacher of Sardar Bagheel Singh. Sardar Bagheel Singh, Tenna Gurpai, ne enna de naa sa nu pata honne chai de. Sardar Bagheel Singh, Jassa Singh Aluwala Sultan Ul Qom, and Jassa Singh Ramgadeya. These three are Gurpai brothers. You will hear the Sakhi in the, the Granth as well. This is the same Jassa Singh Aluwala that Pai Shindar Ji Singh was telling you about, that Mata Saib Devanji took him under her guidance 
ट्रेंड हिम टू खेयर ऑफ हिम उन वड्डा करके टू अ पॉइंट दैट ही बिकेम द जर्नैल ऑफ द खालसा आर्मी एंड वॉज कॉल्ड सुल्तान उल कौम this is the power of what a woman can do what a mother can do it is in our hands if we want our children to be sevak to be a khalsa to serve the panth or would rather serve the world is sade matawan de hath de vich ne so bhai ratan singh ji pangu then goes on to give his own shahidi in the first british sikh war ਇਥੇ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਥਰੂ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਈ ਫੀਲ ਲਾਈਕ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਰਿਸਰਚ ਕਰਦੀ ਸੀ ਆਈ ਫੀਲ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਮ ਬੈਕ ਇਨ ਮਾਈ ਹਾਈ ਸਕੂਲ ਲਰਨਿੰਗ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਕਲਾਸਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਲਵਡ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਕਲਾਸਸ ਰੀਲੀ ਇੰਜੋਇਡ ਇਟ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਯਾਦ ਕਰਨੇ ਪੈਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਫਰਗਿਵ ਮੀ ਇਨ ਐਡਵਾਂਸ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਗੈਟ ਫ੍ਰੈਂਚ ਨੇਮਸ ਰੋਂਗ ਪੋਰਟੂਗੀਜ਼ ਨੇਮਸ ਰੋਂਗ ਯੂ نو ਸਿੱਖਦੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਭਾਈ ਰਤਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਪੰਗੂ ਇਨ 1846 ਆਫਟਰ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਿੰਗ ਦਿਸ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਹੀ ਗੋਸ ਔਨ ਟੂ ਫਾਈਟ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ देयर ਵਾਸ ਪਾਈਸ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਨੇਚਰ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਨਿਹੰਗ ਸਿੰਘ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਅਕਾਲੀ ਫੌਜ ਸੀ देयर ਨੇਚਰ ਵਾਸ ਟੂ ਫਾਈਟ देयर ਵਾਸ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਰਾਈਟ ਟੂ ਅ ਪੋਇਟ ਬਟ ਦੇ ਹੈਡ ਟੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਦਿਸ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਮਜਬੂਰੀ ਸੀ ਕਿਉਂ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਆਊਟ ਦੈਨ ਇਨ 1846 ਪਾਈ ਰਤਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਪੰਗੂ ਗਿਵਸ ਹਿਸ ਸ਼ਹੀਦੀ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦਾ ਐਂਗਲੋ ਸਿੱਖ ਵਾਰ ਥਿਸ ਵਾਸ ਦਾ ਵਾਰ ਇਨ ਵਿਚ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਟੋਟਲੀ ਵੈਨ ਇਨਟੂ ਦਾ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਹੈਂਸ 1846 ਇਹ ਜੰਗ ਜੁੱਧ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੋ in this granth we are going to learn a lot of itihas and a granth di katha sang ji ek din ch ni samapt ho sakdi na ek mahine ch je paave roz kariye fer ta dekh sakde ha it might take years but the question here is how much dedication we have as sangat to listen to the katha from beginning till the end in our sangat jere ithe baithya penji ho bunno few years back we had this mata ji with guru kripa we had the chance to do her sangat ਚੀਸ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਨਿਕਤਨ ਉਹਨੇ 14 ਸਾਲ ਜਦੋਂ ਦਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਦਾ ਕਥਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਇਆ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਰੀ ਰਿਸ਼ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੀ ਐਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸ਼ੀ ਨੈਵਰ ਮਿਸਡ ਵਨ ਡੇ ਆਫ ਅ ਕਥਾ ਐਂਡ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੁਣ ਸਾਖੀ ਮਨ ਜਪ ਪਿਆਰ ਬਬਾਣਿਆ ਕਹਾਣੀਆਂ ਪੁੱਤ ਸੁਪੁੱਤ ਕਰੇਨ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਊ ਸ਼ੀ ਲੈਫ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਹਸਰ ਸੇ ਚੰਗਾ ਪੁੱਤ ਭੈਣੋ ਭਾਈ ਮੈਂ ਚੱਲੀ ਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸਿੰਘ ਲੈਣ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸ਼ੀ ਲਾਈਟ ਡਾਊਨ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਲੈਫਟ ਹਰ ਸਰੀ just by listening to katha the itihas the sakhiyan of guru sahib and guru de sikh inna prabhav pai janda so our guru pyari saath sang ji man nu ikagar vich le aake you want to listen to the katha of the sings you have to be savdan inna di katha aam taur vaste aam lokan vaste ni this katha is only heard if you want to be inspired you want to do something for your guru and for the panth ਫੇਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਥਾ ਸੁਣਦੇ ਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਆਮ ਲੋਕ ਬਾਹਰ ਵੀ ਫਿਰਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਪਿਆਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਵਾਲ ਸੋ ਆਓ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਮਨ ਨੂੰ ਇਕਾਗਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਆ ਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਥਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੁਰਨਾ ਕਰੀਏ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਮੰਗਲਾਚਰ ਹਾਊ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਦੈਟ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਔਰ ਅ ਬੁੱਕ ਔਰ ਐਨੀ ਇਤਿਹਾਸਿਕ ਬੁੱਕ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਬੁੱਕ is authentic is good to be read you must have mangala charan in that pothi in that granth now a days we have books or anything that we if we if we ourselves write something or do something who do we dedicate this pothi or this granth to it has to be our isht which is guru granth sahib ji and the mangala charan in this granth ek oankar satguru prasad the main mangala charan in guru granth sahib ji ek oankar means ek parmatma one god who is the form of sat chit anand the truth the consciousness which is within all of us and the form of anand never dukhi not affected and how do we get to that one that ek who created everything oankar the whole creation how do we get to that one sat gur prasad sat gur sat he means true gur means guru only through the true guru's prasad prasad he means kripa only through the true guru's kripa can we get to parmatma which is why it's so important to have a guru in our life guru taran karna bahut zaruri hai fir dusra mangal sri wah guru ji ki fatah hai this is the mangal of sri dasam guru granth sahib ji 
ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਦਸਮ ਬਾਣੀ ਪੜ੍ਹਦੇ ਆਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾਤਰ ਮੰਗਲ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੈ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਮੰਗਲ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਚੌਪੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੜੋ ਜਾਪ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੜੋ ਸੋ ਹੀਅਰ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਦ ਮੰਗਲ ਆਫ ਬੋਥ ਆਦ ਐਂਡ ਦਸਮ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਮੰਗਲ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਇਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਆਸਕਿੰਗ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗਸ ਫ্রম ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਇਟ ਸ਼ੋਜ਼ ਥੈਟ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਵੀ ਥਿਸ ਪਰਸਨ ਇਜ਼ ਰਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ is nothing apart from dharm is nothing beyond dharm nothing beyond anything that's not religious everything that's within this grantha is based on gurmat the limitations of gurmat and is authentic is what is being told so let's continue dohara shri guru nanak charan band guru gobind singh te aaye so ethe pehla title on da ya ath ath means now श्री गुरु पंथ प्रकाश ग्रंथे हुन बिगिन्स श्री द मेन द ग्रेट गुरु पंथ प्रकाश ग्रंथे गुरु पंथ नाउ मेनी माइट नॉट बिलीव दिस दे हैव डिफरेंट अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी हैव गुरु ग्रंथ बट महाराज ने बादशाही गुरु पंथ नु भी बख्शा है इफ यू राइट इन ही की कृपा के सजे हम हैं नहीं मोह से गरीब करोड़ परे किन्ना दी कृपा महाराज इज पॉइंटिंग टुवर्ड्स द पंथ ਯੂ ਵਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਆ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਪੰਥ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰੋ ਆਲ ਦ ਸਿੰਘਸ ਹੂ ਗੇਵ ਦੇਅਰ ਸ਼ਹੀਦੀ ਵਾਸ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਪੰਥ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਵਾਈ ਦ ਪੰਥ ਵਾਸ ਦ ਮੋਸਟ ਬਿਲਵਡ ਥਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰ ਪੰਥ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਗ੍ਰੰਥੇ ਦ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਨਾਉ ਬਿਗਿਨਸ ਦੋਹਰਾ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਚਰਨ ਬੰਦ ਗੁਰ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਤੇ ਆਏ ਦੇਖੋ ਫਰਸਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਫਰਸਟ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਰਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਦ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਕਵੀ ਜੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਵਿਦ Sri Guru Nanak Charan Band First I bow down at the feet of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji Gur Gobind Singh te aaye and I remember Tiona I remember Gur Gobind Singh Ji Now here you might be wondering why only Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Gur Gobind Singh Ji The Mangla Charan that we read earlier before the katha begin Gur Nanak Pad Pankaj Bandhan that has all the Guru Sahib's name that Mangla Charan comes in Sri Suraj Prakash Granth Here this is now a metaphor uh, or what we can say an example that's being used it's called Kada Kundal Nyay Kada Kundal Nyay is basically if you look at a kadai and the two handles So one handle is Guru Nanak Dev Ji one is Guru Gobind Singh Ji and what is between that all encompasses the all eight guru sahib so Guru Nanak Dev Ji da na leke Guru Gobind Singh Ji da na leke sare guru sahib de na andar vich hi aa jande han ji dekho utpatti khalsi mon nij karho sahaye so kavi ji kende ne likho utpatti khalsi now i'm going to write how was khalsa born How did Khalsa Pant came about Monij karho sahay he sachhe paacha guru nanak dev ji guru gobind singh ji please sahay help me to create this granth han ji to bhai ab main likho singal ki sakhi now i'm going to write singal ki sakhi i'm going to write the stories of the singhs i'm going to write the stories of the shaheed singhs the great gur sikhs who gave their life for this pant deh bid badan asadan aakhi Jai Bidha just like how Badan my ancestors told me so Pai Sahib's father Baba Rai Singh ji their grandfather Pai Mehtab Singh ji Pai Sham Singh ji enna ne jive sakhi dassiya which is so important assi apne bachiyan nu ni sakhi dasde eh apne bachche nu ki dassan ge so now puchna chahida do our kids know the history of the Khalsa do they know who Pai Taru Singh ji Baba Banda Singh Bahadur is i've seen in our pantha we go for prachar parents will tell us ki inna nu na dasyo because it's too much for them it's scary it's frightening for them then if we don't share this kind of sakhiya then they are going to be born and raised as cowards do you want that for your children so ab main now i'm going to write this story like how my grandparents my parents told me aur puratan te pi suni I have also heard this sakhiya from puratan singhs from the time of my grandfather and father jere purane singhs e onna to vi main sakhi suni han ji hote jo bird sikh bhogni those gur sikhs they were bird they were all old people who fought for in the jungle 
during the time of Baba Banda Singh Bahadur missile period, they fought all these jungle and they bow guni. They were so virtuous. Hanji. So matamahi. So now Kaviji is saying that based on my understanding, I'm going to now explain the story. How to listen to the Sakya. Kaviji Kendane man man karke tan karke with your mind and your body. Listen to this with preet, with love. And what happens? Pao pe dahi. With love, pe jera pao hunda ya prem, love. Pe hunda ya dar. Pe dahi means the fear in our hearts will be eradicated. Hanji. Now, Kaviji is going to talk about why they had to tell this Sakhi. Just like how I told these stories to an Angrej. So, Pai Ratan Singh Ji Pangu had to tell these stories to an English person. Hanji. And now, Uthanaka means the story behind it. How did I end up meeting this English person? This Captain Murray, how did I end up meeting him and why I had to tell him the Sakhi of the Khalsa? Hanji. Okay. So, India, also the first foreigner, European Kelo, who went to India was anybody knows? A Portuguese guy called Vasco de Gama. Okay. First person who went to India. This person, Vasco de Gama, came to India at the time of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Guru Nanak Dev Ji is about 30 something years old. So imagine Guru Sahib is now going on their Udasya. And this is the first time you see as a European guy is traveling. Oh, European is the first time he started Guru Nanak Dev Ji. So Vasco de Gama comes to India to search what is India about, I think we trading business career, maybe we can share resources and there Guru Nadej is already on this 30. Now fast forward a bit, Kaviji speaks about Hutor Dabai Francis Pirangi. Now Pirangi here means foreigner. Anna? Dabai is si Odana. Now when we research, his original name is Benoit Dubois. Okay, a, a French name. If you Google it, I don't want to say anything. Benoit Dubois, okay? Punjabianu, Aprenu, Dubois, and the Kanani on the Paisab near Dubai Lake. Okay? So, this Dubai was a French person. He left France to come to India to look for a job, you know, something, some new adventure. Oh, Torda, 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 Kithe Ponchia Hanji. Marhattan, Nakar, Rakhio, Sujangi. Marhattan. Now, in India back in the days, huh, this was like, uh, if we talk about the great forces, Sapto Bade Empire Kere Sius Vele. Of course, we are talking about in India. Tere Baro IC, of course, we have the Mughal Empire. Then we have the, the Afghani Forge, the Irani Forge, they came. But within India itself, one of the strongest empire was first Sikh Raj, Khalsa Raj. Second was, was the Maratha Empire. So, to see, je to see movie dekh de honge. You might see this movie called uh, Panipat. It mentioned Hoga Itihas Devich. Maratha Empire was one of the strongest empire in India. So, Ejera Dubai, see Dubois, he torda torda, he reached the Maratha Empire. Marhattan Nokar Rakhyo Sojangi. He ended up becoming the commander in chief of the Maratha Empire. Hanji. So, ek kampu. Kampu means company. Dekho, ah, how English words are being said in Punjabi. Ah, kampu. Look at Kaviji. Ah, so interesting. Ek kampu. So, one company or battalion or army, kelo, it was given to Dubai to be a commander of. So, he, wherever Maratha had to fight battles. Maratha had to fight a lot of battles. Hana? Te Angreja Nalvi Lede. Apne Sikha Nalvi Lede. Maratha, they fought with the Sikha as well. And uh, with the with all these French people as well, they fought. So, ek kampu, this is super the kar dayo. Ek kampa, a company, battalion, the Maratha gave to uh, Dubai. Hanji. Hanji. 
So within 1790s, five years, 1790 until 1795, Dubai was working under the command of the Maratha Empire as the commander in chief of an army. Hanji. So Jodo Buddha ho gaya, Dubai when he became old, he is now wants to go back to France. Hanji. So he decided to sell everything that he had because you see, Dubai he had his own servants, his house, paise mil desi. Basically, you are working as a job, so you're getting paid. You have your own servants, you have your own money, your house, whatever property. So everything that he had, he sold it, and he was ready to go back to France. Hanji. So Piru. So here is General General Perron. So is a French name. General Perron was. I'm trying to say when Manisha Sam. That's why Punjabi Guru Mukhi Santhya is very important. So Perron was his sister's son. So Piru ethe likhe hoya. So Piru pan jayo us ahe pan da munda si. Onne Perron nu kya we find jara mera battalion my company you become the commander in chief now. Because as he was about to leave, Marathi wale kende who's going to take after you? There's no one. And a kafi jang jitte ya. Jera Dubai si he was very good. He won many many wars for for the Maratha Empire. Hanji. So sare sare kuch onu pero onu de datta te jera Dubai si he went back to France. Hanji. Dohra so piru ek kampu. Or kiye on jar. So jera pero si e chalak nikliya. Holy, holy! He started conspiring, and from one battalion, he expanded to three, four battalions. Okay. Now, what happens is in the Maratha Empire because trust peda ho gaya. You work with someone for four, five years, you start trusting that person. So when he gave his command, his battalion to Peron, of course, ona ne sawali puchya zar. Okay la, your nephew should be okay. So he slowly then expanded from one battalion to three, four battalions. Hanji. So what happened? Holy, holy! General Peron started taking control of many, many areas. Delhi atte Agra, between the area of Delhi until Agra, Ganga Beach. So the river Ganga comes in between. Sara Elaka Peron took it under his control. Hanji. So now what happened? He now betrayed the Maratha Empire. Holy, holy. Okay, Marathan ko tab sanso payo. Jere Marathan sige they started becoming suspicious. What is this guy doing? How come he expanded his battalion? Now he's taking control of a lot of areas that we are actually in control of because Maratha Empire was very big. At that time, British was already in India. Please understand this, Sangaji. The France, the British, the Sikhs, the Marathas. They were already in India, all of them together. But British could not expand their empire. They just couldn't because the two greatest forger, the Marathas and the Khalsa, were not allowing them to proceed and kabja kar India. Okay, so Marathan ko tab sansu payo. Their the Marathans they became suspicious. Hanji. They now wanted to take back the command, the battalion, the area that Peron took control of. Jere Marathi si they wanted to take everything back. Anji. Piru Manasubo Thayrayo. So General Peron now he is planning. He is trying to plan something because now he doesn't like. So there's now a glitch already between him and the Marathas. So he's planning something. What is he planning? Beach, beach, Angrezan, there, gayo. Okay. Now, General Perrault, he fought battles for the Marathas as well. Ehona Gala in 1801. Okay, this is now during the time where now Maharaja Ranjit Singh has already become the king of the Khalsa army, the Sikh Raj. He is now the Maharaja. Okay, 1799. So 1801, the Gala. In 1801. Peron decided that Ujjain the Jang to Bad after the Battle of Ujjain, he refused to send his army to the Marathas for help. So when the Marathas they asked that you abra is apni army page, he said my page na ni. So he decided to create this plan. He don't want to send anything to to the Marathas. 
ਵਿੱਚ ਦੇਸ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਗਏ ਵਾਟ ਹੀ ਡਿਡ ਵਾਸ ਹੀ ਸੋਲਡ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਹਿਸ ਆਰਮੀ ਹਿਸ ਬਟਾਲੀਅਨ ਹਿਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਇਸ ਨੋਕਰ ਟੂ ਦ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਪੀਪਲ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ ਦ ਏਰੀਆਸ ਦੈਟ ਹੀ ਹੈਡ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਆਫ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸੈ 18 60 ਸਾਲ ਸੋ ਸੈ 18 60 ਸਾਲ 60 ਕਿਨੇ ਹੋਏ 60 1860 now this is in bikrami year huh? bikram bikram year is 57 years ahead so hone sanu minus karna pena now this is the year 1803 where the marathas had their war with english so the anglo maratha war oh jang de vich because pharaoh ne apni fauj piche kar li he didn't give his fauj maratha se to fight with the english marathas lost that battle and because of that battle english won delhi so the moment you get delhi that's it you get the whole of india so that was the year 1803 where british for the first time set their pair their foot in delhi and took control han ji gayo marhatan ko woh gaal so marhatan ko woh gaal english ne gaal destroy kar ditta marathiyan nu han ji gayo mulk angrez ne rok so mulk the whole country now came into the hands of the british company the east india company han ji marhatan ke kar par gayo shok so marhati the maratha empire now completely destroyed because now they have lost their kabza on delhi which means they have lost their kabza on you can say almost the whole of hindustan not including punjab yet da so they were very shocked bahut udas ho gaye han ji tab delhi mein aaye vadiyo karnal ha so karnal now here the colonel the general of the east india company the british company now has come to delhi han ji loni akhtar jo payo jarnal so his name was david akhtar loni so kavi ji here says lo uh, loni akhtar so his name was akhtar loni david akhtar loni and that was his name the general of the uh, company at that time han ji pingan ke lai chad delhi ha so hun ki hoya english ke they took over delhi so ethe bhai sahab kinde ne singan ker lai chad delhi so jere singh sige khalsa fauj which means we have to think about the three brothers ha who were the names sardar bagel singh jassa singh alu wala sultan ul qom and jassa singh ramgarhia inna ne na jado when i am reading the sakhi i can't stop smiling inna ne 19 wari 19 times they came and took over delhi in the span of 22 years 22 saalan de vich 19 times the khalsa took over delhi le lu ke chija mughalan nu pher de ditta went back to punjab then they like okay what do we do go back to delhi attack again take everything come back to punjab 19 times they did that they did that within this this three army the general they did that within the span of 22 years imagine now every year you're attacking delhi and i thought about it for the fact that kai var ek jang karnu inna okha hunda hai and khalsa fauj number was not a lot few thousand kor sawar honge you know and then maybe uh, some archers some uh, fighting with with uh, hand arms and they can take over delhi 19 times means it's nothing for them delhi is nothing for the khalsa if they want means uh, they can take it for once and for all and sit on a takhat jassa singh alu wala was it jassa singh ramgarhia jassa singh ramgarhia he sat on a delhi takhat oh bah gaya si bhi hon khalsa raj karange sanu delhi mil gaya and sardar bagheer singh said nahi ਇਹ ਤਖਤ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਹਿਣਾ ਇਹ ਕੋ ਸਾਈ ਵਾਈ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇਹੀ ਤਖਤ ਤੇ ਔਰੰਗਜ਼ੇਬ ਨੇ ਬਹਿ ਕੇ ਇਹ ਫਤਵਾ ਜਾਰੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਾਦ ਜਦ ਸੀਸ ਲੋਣਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜਾਦ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਹੀਦੀ ਕਰਨੀ ਆ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਸਿਟ ਐਟ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਪਲੇਸ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਟੁਕ ਓਵਰ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਮੁਗਲਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਐਨ ਬਰਬਾਦ ਕਰਕੇ ਦੇ ਗੋ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੈਨ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਇਅਰ ਦ ਮੁਗਲਸ ਆਲਸੋ ਗੈਟ ਫੈਡ ਅਪ ਫੇਰ ਆ ਗਏ ਫੇਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪੈਸੇ ਦੇਣੇ ਸੋ ਮੁਗਲਸ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਕੈਰਡ ਆਫ ਆਫ ਦ ਸਿੰਗਸ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ after aurangzeb so you know what actually destroyed the mughal empire what do you think the zafar nama that guru gobind singh he sent after guru gobind singh he sent the zafar nama letter to aurangzeb he couldn't do raj anymore he just depressed ho gaya pata nahi ki ho gaya onu 
and the Mughal Empire after Aurangzeb just went downhill. That's it. So, Sinkan ke lehi chad dilli. So, the Sinks de bar bar aake dilli da kabja kar lande haan ji. Angrejan ki gal kar dehi tilli. So, Angrejan, the Ang British people, their grasp of dilli is like, like that. Open close, open close. It's never strong. They cannot hold on to dilli with a grasp, you know, with strong grip. Haan ji. He got very angry. What is this? Every year these people come and attack Delhi. What is their business? Anji. So they said, we can't even attack these things. We can't even enter Khalsa army because 1803, Maharaja Ranji Singh Ji's forge. Maharaja Ranji Singh Ji is the is emperor. And British cannot penetrate into Khalsa Empire. They cannot enter Punjab. They cannot attack the Khalsa Empire. And they are like, hey, Who are these people? They are asking this question, Hanji. So now they were, uh, David Akhtar Luni, he is asking the Pacha, the Mughal Emperor at that time, and his name was Shah Alam II. So his pet name was Gaur Ali. Gaur Ali, ja Shah Alam II. So, tab angrejan puchyo paachai. So, now they are asking the Shah Alam, ki, who are these people, Hanji? Singhan malak diyo kin aahe. Ke puchne ne Shah Alam nu, ki, who gave the authority to this singer, to this khal se, to keep attacking Delhi and taking things from Delhi, Hanji? Dohara, maareyo kaun ghaneem, in kaun sabareyo kaam. So, they are asking the Shah Alam uh, paacha, the emperor, be, you are not saying anything. Singer Ake, they control Delhi. You just keep quiet, give whatever they want. They control, they attack. You just keep quiet and sit down. You don't do anything. Mario Korn Ganim, and did they help you to kill any of your enemies? Did the Khalsa help you dis destroy your enemies? Or Korn Savario come? Did they help you in any of your work? Tell me this, Hanji. Oh, did your ancestors, maybe Aurangzeb, Jahangir, or anybody, did they write, or Bahadur Shah, did they write a letter or a, a hukamnama or something that allows them to do whatever they want, to do whatever the, they, or Nadi Moja, did your ancestors write something like that, Hanji? So then Shah Alam the second now he is giving the answer. Hanji. Can they key kara David Akhtar Loni? None of my ancestors wrote a letter or gave a hukam that they can do their whatever they want, they can do their manmani. Hanji. They didn't help us to Savar means to do any of our work. They are not helping us, Hanji. In fact, these people, you see how much too that this Shah Alam is going to speak huh, to see the queue. In fact, these people, this car says this things, they never killed any of our enemy, Hanji. Okay, now we are entering the Itihas which is going to connect to us in the later period. Nejmal Mughal inay nadar bulayo. So Nejmal Mughal jera paatsha shi at that time before Shah Alam was Muhammad Shah. Okay. Muhammad Shah inay nadar bulayo. Okay. What happened? Nadar. Nadar Shah was an Iranian ruler. Okay. They had their own battle with the Ottoman Empire, the Persian Empire and paise cut again. Okay. So they need, you need money and weapons for war. You need people for war. So what happened is that now he is going to attack India because you must understand Mughal Empire is now is like shaken. Okay, Mughal Empire is now shaken. So Nadir Shah Delhi te chadke aagya. He came and he attacked Delhi against the Mughal forge whose emperor was Muhammad Shah. So Muhammad Shah also me thoda ladulke he surrendered. Okay, he knew he cannot fight the battle. He surrendered. He brought Nadir Shah into Delhi. And sare toshe khane de chabi, whatever the uh, the treasury, whatever Nadir Shah asked, he gave all the kids. Nah, mere hatto sara le kuch lela, because he just didn't want to fight a battle. The kings after Aurangzeb was practically dirakal, you know, cowards. So Nejmal Mughal in a Nadir bulay, he called Nadir Shah into Delhi, Hanji. Delhi ko un naas karayo. You know what Nadir Shah did? 1739, na. Huh? 1739 to see the itihas padonge 
Nadir Shah Ratunu, so he enters Delhi on 20th March. Ratunu, Ratunu somehow a fake news spread ki someone killed Nadir Shah. Okay. Jere Delhi wale log si at that time they got very upset. Why is this Iranian ruler coming and attacking us? Onna ne ja ke Iranian forge te hamla kar datta. They attacked the Iranian forge. In the morning when Nadir Shah found out, he declared Katal Katale Aam. Have you heard this word? Katale Aam? Katale Aam means publicly killing people. Just, just go crazy and just kill people. Within one day, six hours on 22nd March 1739, within six hours, 30,000 people were killed. You can't see people. You imagine on the Lasha, you can't see the road. You just see bodies. So, Dilli ko unne naas karayo, unne Dilli nu naas kar datta, hanji. Ruhine Najibe Ahmad Shah salawayo. So, Nadir Shah pe destroyed Dilli. He took the peacock throne, the Dilli da peacock throne. He took the Kohinoor diamond, the famous Kohinoor diamond, whatever uh, a treasure was belonging to the Mughal. He took everything back to Iran, okay? So, now... Now connecting to the second person who came and destroyed Delhi. Ruhe Le Najibe Ahmad Shah Sadwayo. So this guy, Ruhe La, he was a Ruhe La Afghani. His name was Najib Khan. And he was the commander-in-chief of the Mughal army. Okay. Ruhe La Afghani Siga. Oni ki kita, he got fed up with the Mughal empire. He like, okay, I want to betray this empire. He invited an Afghani ruler called Ahmad Shah Abdali. You heard the name, Anna? And uh, these people, Afghans, the, the Afghans and Mughals, they are always anti each other from day one. So they just need a reason to come and attack. So Ahmad Shah Abdali, he's also called Ahmad Shah Durrani because he was the founder of the Durrani Empire. So Ruhele Najib, so Jera Najib Khan si, he invited Ahmad Shah Abdali to attack Delhi. Can Delhi no attack karke? Make me the ruler of Delhi. So Ahmad Shah Abdali came and he attacked Delhi. So this one was in 1757. So now this Ahmad Shah Abdali, he was also in Nadir Shah army when Nadir Shah attacked Delhi. Nadir Shah was so impressed by Ahmad Shah. Only Mukoi I Bachan Keta ki Metho Bada, you will become the chief because you are so great. But what happened? Nadir Shah was killed. Ahmad Shah Abdali went to the tent when he saw Nadir Shah's body. He took the peacock throne, he cooked the Kohinoor diamond, all the diamond treasure. He went and created his own army. Then he attacked Delhi in 1757. When he attacked Delhi, Mughal lost and Najib Khan became the ruler of Delhi. Hanji. Then they had another war with the Maratha Empire. 1761. The Battle of Panipat. The famous Battle of Panipat was the battle fought between Abdali and the Marathas. Now Maratha sent a message to Najib Khan. Be, hey, can you send some army and help us out against this Afghani? Because Mughals and Afghanis are against each other. What? He never sent any help. So Marathas, they fought this battle of Panipat with Abdali and as we know, they lost. Marathas lost and Abdali ne sara kabja karke. That time Sikha was also involved. Then Abdali started to find out who is these people who help the who help the Marathas. So he found out who Sekha were. Abdali ne then in 1762, in 1762, Vadaka Lukara happened. Lukara happened when Ahmad Shah Abdali attacked the Sekha and within one day, 50,000 Sekha died. This is Abdali's karma. Okay? So Pao Marhato. Now at that time the Maratha Empire's uh, commander she was Sada Shef Pao. So it is now like Pao Marhato. You see how how detailed Kapai Ratan Singh Pangu's history is. Huh? Pao Marhato on Galvayo. He destroyed the Maratha chief who was Sada Shef Pao and they won Delhi. Hanji. So Abdali thakka gaya because he attacked Delhi eight times. Okay, nothing compared to what Khalsa did. La. Khalsa attacked 19 times, still attacking. And then Delhi, eight times he attacked Karke, Paisa Kendri, Thakkaya. He gets so tired, he went back to Afghan. Hanji. Dekho. So, Enane Aikya Mulk Aki. You know who 
this Shah Alam, he did not call the singer Khalsa, ja Sher, ja a Fawjne, and anu simple mulka rakyat. Rakyat. He called him. You used. He will use this word. Call him simple rakyat. Aki em uste rahe ho. E akke na they took chance of the situation that we were so weak. The Mughals were so weak that the Sikhs kept on attacking us. Hanji. So Jera Shah Dushta talking paisa is talking about the Shah Alam. Kapata Uchara, he kept on talking lies and lies and lies about the Khalsa. Anji. So he spoke so bad about the Sikhs to the Englishman. He called the Sikhs normal people, he called the Sikhs. Anji. He never said that this Panther, this group of people are called the Khalsa Ainikya. Anji. He did not tell the Englishman about Guru Sahib Sakya. He did not tell the battles fought between Guru Sahib and the Mughals. He did not speak about Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Babur. He did not speak about when Sher Shah Suri came to Guru Angad Dev Ji. He did not speak about when Akbar Bacha came and ate langar in Guru Amar Das Ji's kitchen. Kuchni dasya. Anji. Sri Guru Nanak Jinapayo Age Vadeo Pratap. Ki Guru Nadeji, how great Guru Nadeji was that he came into this world, and this is the same Guru Nadeji who gave Babur Raj. Babur came and attacked India. He was not going to be a good, he could not win. But Guru Nadeji ne Vardatta see that you will become a king if you rule properly. Otherwise, my tenth form will come and then your kingdom will be destroyed. Hanji. So he did not tell the Englishman how Babur got Kripa from Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Hanji. So he did not tell about how the Turks, the Mughals, they themselves destroyed and tortured the Hindus. Hanji. He did not tell how the Sikha and the Gurus were tortured. How did they kill? And ditch cause Shahidi of the of Guru Sahib and the Sikha, Hanji. He did not tell, despite being tortured, how Guru Sahib Sir sees the upper Sir Nadia. How did Guru Sahib was so steadfast that did not give their term, Hanji? He did not say that Guru Teibad ne sees de datta par apna taram ni chhaddeya hanji So he did not speak about the bad the enmity that was between the Sikhs and the Mughal Then he did not speak about how Guru Gobind Singh started the Panther Anji. He did not tell how the Panther was born through Chand Jagai, through Chandi. Now we read Chandi Diwar, the Bani today. Sangaji, you don't know how great Bani of Chandi Diwar is. Because the energy of this Bani is so strong. In fact, Mata Sahib Devanji is also given the title of Ah the Shakti. The Shakti, the power that is within all of us to be able to do what we are doing. Sitting, standing, writing, talking, walking. Paramatma Akal Purak Sarup gives their Shakti to our Shakti who then gives us the whole power and energy to do what we are doing right now. So, Pantha Madhat Ko Chandaj Gai that he did not say how Guru Gobizi used the Khanda and Pargat kar the Pantha, Hanji. Then he did not tell about how Guru Gobi Singh Ji gave his Char Sahib Jade to the same Chandi. Ohi Chandi to on a Panther Chaya. He created Panther from the same Chandi and to the same Chandi he gave back his four sons, Hanji. Then he sacrificed himself to that same weapon as well. And he did not tell about this, how this really affected the Mughal Empire, how Aurangzeb was affected when Guru Gobind Singh sent the Zafar Nama letter, Hanji. He did not tell these English people that because for this Panther, how much Kamai, how much the Guru had done for us. So this Dushta. Gaur Ali did not tell any of this to David Akhtar Luni, Hanji. Dohara, 
बच्चे हो सो इनसेंट एना ने ओना नु भी नहीं छड्या वे दोषे फाड़े गल कटे कहयो ना उने हवाल ही डिड नॉट टेल डेविड ऑफ द लूनी दैट वी वर द वन द मुगल्स वर द वन हु कट द थ्रोट ऑफ द छोटे साहिब जादे ही डिड नॉट टेल हां जी चौपई फिर बहादुर शाह गुरु लयो रिजाई हां देन ही डिड नॉट स्पीक अबाउट हिज ओन हिज ओन एंसेस्टर बहादुर शाह सो आफ्टर औरंगजेब पास एंड द किंगडम वेंट टू बहादुर शाह Bahadur Shah could not win he could not become the emperor Gur Layo Rajai he did not tell how Bahadur Shah made Guru Gobind Singh ji happy Bahadur Shah in fact when Mata Saheb Dewan ji stayed in Delhi this was after Anandpur battle and uh, the parivar were chhoda they went to Delhi Bahadur Shah used to come every day and do darshan of Mata Saheb Dewan ji Mata Sundari ji he used to in fact whatever money whatever there was taken away from the panther by Aurangzeb he gave it back mata ji ne kya a a uprala this we need this much of money we need this nothing mata mata ji could send a hukum na me singa nu chaddeya you know send them to punjab bahadur shah did not stop them or anything in fact bahadur shah was so scared ki banda singh bahadur chad ke aa gaya ki mainu na maar dave de bahadur shah banda singh bahadur mainu na maar dave so he asked protection from guru gobind singh ji for what han ji बहादुर गुरबाणी उस उसे जे गुर की सरनी फिर वो आवे ता पिछले अवगुण बख्श लिया वी डिड दिस विचार दिस मॉर्निंग विद विद माय यूके टीम प्रचारक सना दैट गुरु साहिब इट इज वन साखी इन सतयुग राजा बल ही वाज द डेथ किंग द किंग ऑफ द डीमंस ही डिस्ट्रॉयड एवरीबॉडी बेसिकली इवन इंदर देवता ही वांट्स टू कंट्रोल एवरीथिंग एंड गॉड केम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बावन अवतार मींस अ ड्वार्फ and he said he read he wanted to do a jag raja bali wanted to do a jag and through that jag if he completes the jag he will be able to control the heavens this world and the parlo the nether worlds the pandas indra devta went to bhagwan and said please don't let this happen can you do something so the jag does not get complete you know khandan karna you know and then uh, so bhagwan ji then took avtar is bamman avtar came to the jagga and he recited char ved he recited char ved and raja bali got so impressed he said mangu jara tu mangra and raja bali's teacher sukra prohit he was a hey, wait 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 this guy here is not a arm person he is an avtar of bhagwan so you don't say give uh, tell me what you want i'll give you but he said sorry assi bachan de pakke ha means whatever i've said i'm going to fulfill it so bavan avtar he asked for an area as big as 3 steps so now if we we take 3 steps i think would we'll just be the size of this box ha na so raja bali said okay ga baddi gala fine i'll give you an area as big as 3 steps but what are you going to do about it what are you going to do with that area bavan avtar became so big from a dwarf he became so big that with one step he covered earth with the second step he covered heavens and he didn't know where to put his third step raja bali realized he wow i have been so egoistic and this person here actually is an avatar of bhagwan of parmatma and he bowed down and asked for forgiveness and he said put your third step on my head and kill me destroy me but bavan avatar was so impressed ki from such an egoistic person he became so humble the onu galva ki pai gurdas ji tells this story ah this is not from some some random granth pai gurdas ji speaks about the story that bavan avtar then hugs raja bali is it koina you will become the raja of the nether world the demon world you become raja of that world and blessed him but raja bali became a good king after that 
So the point here is fair or sharan, fair or guru ke sharan aave. If it comes back to the sharan of the guru, tap pichle aogun bakshle. So same here, Bahadur Shah comes back to the sharan of Guru Gobind Singh ji and asks for forgiveness and says, "Can you help me?" And Pat Shah kiyo sab kala dikhai. Guru Gobind Singh ji with his shahid di forge when fought battles with Tara Abz Azam, Tara Abzans army lost the battle and Bahadur Shah became the Mughal emperor. Han ji. Then, because Bahadur Shah, of course, Mughal Empire, being Mughal Empire, didn't want to help the Sikha, still kept on killing Sikha. Then Guru Gobind Singh Ji sent who? Baba Banda Singh Bahadur. Pay, pay, jab bande ko, fair Baba Banda Singh Bahadur nu pay ja. Take back all the Raj and the kingdom again, Han Ji. Tat Khalsa back so ahi. So that's how the Tat Khalsa, the Khalsa Pant under the command of Baba Banda Singh Bahadur. Was created Hanji. Lohara, Kahina Gala, Waho Guranaki, or Kahina Gala, Wahapanta. So, this Gaur Ali did not speak about the actual story of Guru Sahib and the Pantha. Hanji. Kurte, Bite, Baris Baha, Bad Sahina, or Guru Santa. So, he did not speak about many years, Kinne Sa, Langi, 250 years between the period of Guru Nadeji to Guru Gobind Singh. After that period, he did not speak about the war. Hanji. So, it ha. So here speaking about Pai Mani Singh Ji, Band Band Sikhan Katai, Pai Mani Singh Ji, Kopri Siro Uttar Ke, Hu Pai Taru Singh Ji, Kavi Ji is speaking about then, Han Ji. Pind Pind Sunji Gadai, Haal Gai Jin Mughal Bala. So Pai Sap is telling how did the Mughal Empire lost its kingdom? Because they caused the Shahidi of Pai Mani Singh Ji, Jinnah Ne Band Band Katai, they tortured Pai Mani Singh Ji like that. Kopri Uttar Di Pai Taru Singh Ji Di and Pind Pind Suli Gadai. In every village, there used to be a Suli, a spike. And now we don't have a spear here. Imagine one of this is a spike. And Jere Sekhon De Si, they used to just throw them on the spike. So what Pai Ashinda Ji said, barbecue. Sikha Ni Barbecue Kar De Si Ge Hai. And Pai Sab Ji Kendane, Haar Gaye Jim Mughal Bal. This was how the Mughal, they lost their strength and energy because they caused so much of suffering. Hanji. Ah, then here comes Nadir Shah's story. So remember Nadir Shah Chadke Agassi Delhi and he took over and destroyed Delhi in, half, in six hours. So he took the Kohinoor, he took the peacock throne and he took 10,000 slaves. 10,000 slaves he took with him. After destroying everything, next day he chabut to Iran. Oh, nadar gal sabhi na kahi. So, Pai Sab is saying, this guy, Gaur Ali, Shah Alam, he did not tell the full story. What is it? Dilli luti jinho katal karhi. So, this nadar Shah who looted, destroyed Dilli, katal, killed so many people, Hanji. Usko pi seng lutte rahe. So, what happened? Iran forge, Mughal bhi haar ge, sare forge haar ge. But, usko pi, but who destroyed the Irani forge? Singer lootate rahe. The singer chadke aage. So as they were going back to Iran, Hanji. Kandar Kabul loot rah sukh hai. So as they were going back to Iran between the Ra of Kabul and Kandar, the Singhs, when their army, few thousand army, they will go attack the Irani forge. So Nadir Shah's forge and take back whatever that they had looted from Delhi. And all the 10,000 slaves, women, children, men, all of them were freed by the Khalsa Forge. So, Irani the Nadir Shah, adde to jada, more than half of his looter was gone, was taken by the Khalsa and he only went back to Iran with only three days worth of money that he could survive without tax. Three days worth of money only. Hanji. Then, Ahmed Shah, Lahore, Then, Ahmed Shah, story. Ahmed Shah, Abdali, he attacked Lahore in 1748. So, what happened, Hanji? So, Ahmad Shah Abdali attacked Lahore in 1748. Delhi, Agro, he kabja kar everything. And what happened was, that time, the Rajputs, the Sekha and the Mughals, they decided that now we have to join forces. So, imagine, uh, Mughals had to join forces to attack Ahmad Shah Abdali. Anji. So, what happened? When that battle happened, Mughal forge hargay, Rajput force hargay because they were in battalions, right? 
as Abdali's forge was going back because they thought they won the battle, the Fulkia missile, so this was during a missile period, the Fulkia missile of the Sikh army, they went and attacked Abdali, killed Abdali's general and that's how Abdali lost the battle and went back to Afghanistan because of the Sikh forger, the Fulkia missile at that time. Hanji. Subba. So he killed Singa ne Abdali da jara Subba si general onu mar ke Abdali went back empty handed as and he failed, he lost the war. Hanji. So tum, Hanji. So Tumar. So here is Tamur. Okay. So Tamur is Abdali's son. So, Ahmad Shah Abdali Har gaya, he never came back. Okay? Now, Abdali's son comes to attack Delhi. His name is Tamur. What happened was, 1756, Tamur attacks Delhi, India again with 20,000 horsemen. Tamur Shah Sojda Mahj Jitli Lanaya. Fair we, Sikha ne 20,000, the whole 20,000 horsemen with their general, all were destroyed by the Sikh forge. Hanji. So he had to go back. Imagine Ram Murdan ke rahe. Imagine now his old army is walking past and he's like, Meri sari bhi hajar forge is gone. And he's walking back empty handed. So he said, Tamur said, Gayo talak. Talak means divorce lah. I'm not going to come back to India anymore. So Tamur says, I'm not going to come back. My children also will not come back to India. This is how basically Sikha ne inna destroy karta si. Hanji. Then still don't want to give up. Abdali's grandson came. And his grandson is Zaman Shah. Zaman Shah then came to India, Hanji. So, Khalse Mar Hatai. Fair we, this was not during Maharaja Ranji Singh's time. Three times, huh, Zaman Shah tried to attack. Three, three times or so, Maharaja Ranji Singh said, like, a fair gaya? A few thousand forge pe educate, chada do enano. He lost, Zaman Shah loses the battle, he goes back. Comes again, are you fair gaya? Sends a, sends a few uh, Khalsa forge, destroys him, and he goes back empty handed. Three times he came. And three times he lost the battle. Hanji. Panth Hanji. Panth aadte kulte ayo. So aadto from the very beginning the Panth has been fighting battles as such. Hanji. Dost paad shah hai rayat suna But this dusht, this Gaur Ali, what is he calling this Panth? Normal rayat. Just normal people. Hanji. So, Paisa is saying, Bad people, they will never let go of their bad habits. Just like a snake will never let go of their poison. Just like that, bad people, so referring to this Pacha, will never let go of his Kartutta. Anji. So you give milk to snake, you think like Koyana, he will tame down a bit. You give snake the milk, he will drink, look at you, dust you and go away. That's the nature of his name. So even the Mughal forge, so how many times the Sikha help them? Still again, they always come back and destroy us. Hanji. So this guy, Gaur Ali, did not tell the truth. So he kept telling Chut and this David Octor Rudy was like, Oh, achha, achha, haanji, mani gaya, haanji. So as Shah Alam is telling this, David Octor Looney is writing all this history. Yeah? So you see, our Sikh history, Kalle apne Sikha ne ni likhe. We have also Persian sources of Sikh Itihas. If you look at Akbar Nama, if you look at the Bandagin, uh, not Bandagin, Akbar Nama, if you look at Khulasar Uttawarik, all these are Persian sources of, of, that speaks about the Sikh history. How did Guru Sahib give Shahidi, Kinnah Shahidi, but of course, there they tame it down a bit, that they don't make it look bad on their own people. So even English also, they have, like Macaulay, he wrote Itihas of Sikh as well. Hanji. But at that, David Octoluni, he did not think whether is he telling the right or is he just Telling the false truth, Hanji. So he thought about it. Turk Hindu ko bear hu to aad from the very beginning. 
Turks, the Mo Mughals and Hindu have always been against each other. Right? Hanji. So there's always been a fight between Turks. So the Mughals have always wanted to convert the Hindus and make it into one term. So this has always been a tar, make a religious fight. Hanji. So Kapai Sabi is saying, if by telling a lie, enemies can die, Hanji. Then why would the Turka and uh, why would Gaur Ali step back from lying? Because Gaur Ali the Mandi which uh, was, if I tell lies to this Englishman, maybe he will help us to fight against the singer. Hanji. So Kaviji is saying this is a kind of song, Sumpa, that Aurangzeb used to take. What was it? Soak your arm in oil, DJ tile lagai, and then stick sesame seeds on your arm. What does that mean, Hanji? So the Mughals they used to make such promise that they used to make such promise So now Pai Ratan Singh Ji is saying. Jim Suni, when I heard this, and when I heard this from the captain is gonna tell me, when I heard this story, so to tarilikai, then I've decided ki now it's time to write the itihas of the Khalsa Pant, Hanji. So Kaviji is saying, Suno Sant, Jere Sondeana, Thon Sarianu, Sant Akya Kaviji Munane. Pirate Singhi Pangu called everybody Sant, Suno Sant, Manalike, Manadena Suno. Then now I'm going to elaborate further. How did from David Akhtar Luni, he met Captain Mure and how did he ended up writing this whole grant? So Sangaji, Ethe, the first Adhyaya, the first chapter of Sri Guru Pant Prakash, Samapta Hundaya. In the next Prasanga, we are going to look at how he meets Captain Mure and what questions Captain Mure asks and how he starts to explain the itihas of the Panther beginning from Guru Nanak Dev Ji. So, itinika benti parwan kani sangha ji, sadi bentiya ki now that you are already a part of this journey, try to make it a point ki even in, on a weekly basis, if you can't do any sangha, ta aake Panther da itihas suno, listen to the itihas of the Panther, inspire yourself and inspire your family and those around you as well. So, Pula Chuka Di Khima. Please read the last two Pankhya together. Ratan Singh Ne Jim Suni So To Tari Likhaye Suno Sant Man Lai Ke Agge Kahu Badaaye Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh Oh, <laughs>